Hey guys, it's Anch back with another Tech Talk. We've 3D printed cars, houses, and even rocket parts. But now scientists are trying something way more ambitious. The human body. Instead of waiting for an organ donor, the doctors just print you a new one. Not plastic, not metal, a living, breathing organ made from your own cells. Yeah, that's 3D bioprinting. A technology that literally lets us print life. And 3D bioprinting works almost the exact same way as a normal 3D printer. You know how your regular printer lays down ink line by line? Well imagine that, but instead of colored ink, the printer uses bio ink, a special mixture made of living cells, proteins, and gel. Layer by layer, it builds real human tissue, from muscles to blood vessels, even parts of organ. It's where biology meets engineering. Let me walk you through how this wild process actually happens. In the first step, we have scanning. Doctors take a detailed 3D scan of your body part that needs to be replaced. Maybe it's a kidney, maybe it's a patch of skin, or maybe it's just a cartilage from your knee. And that scan becomes your digital blueprint. The second step is creating the bio ink. Scientists collect your stem cells and mix them with a gel that mimics the body's natural support system. That mixture is the ink your body's made of. And the third step is printing. A bioprinter then lays down the bio ink layer by layer, kind of like icing a cake but at the scale of microns. Different print heads deposit different cell types. Skin cells on top, connective tissue maybe below, and then maybe a layer of blood vessel cells in between. And the fourth and final step is maturation. Once it's printed, that structure isn't alive yet. It's like an organ waiting to wake up, so it goes into something called a bioreactor which is basically an incubator that feeds it oxygen and nutrients until the cells fuse and start functioning. And once that happens, it's no longer just a 3D model, it's living tissue. And this isn't some fictional tech that's 50 years away. Scientists are already doing this right now. Researchers at Tel Aviv University printed a tiny beating heart using a patient's own cells. They're selling a Swedish biotech company that sells bioprinters to labs all over the world, used to pr print skin, cartilage, and bone. The Wake Forest Institute is another one. It's printed miniature kidneys that can filter waste like real ones, right now used for drug testing. Even NASA is experimenting with bioprinting in space because microgravity actually helps cells grow in 3D shapes better than they do on Earth. Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about what this really means. Because this tech doesn't just change hospitals, it changes everything. First off, today over 100,000 people in the US alone are waiting for an organ transplant. And around every day, 17 people die waiting. Bioprinting could end that. Hospitals could print organs on demand. No waiting lists, no rejections, no surgeries canceled because a donor wasn't found. Then there's personalized health. Since the organ is made from your own cells, your immune system won't reject it. That means there's no more lifelong anti-rejection drugs that weaken the body. Medicine can become truly personalized to your own body. Then there's drug testing and ethics. Right now, new drugs are tested on animals, then humans. An expensive and often unreliable process. But what if you could test new medicines directly on a mini 3D printed liver? or kidney that behaves just like yours. It would make research faster, safer, and way more ethical. Fourth, we have the economy and access. This is where it gets complicated. These printers and bio inks are insanely expensive. If we don't handle it right, this could become another case where only the rich get access to life-saving technology. Imagine a world where healthcare is literally printable, but not everyone can get the link. And I definitely think that the potential of this tech outweighs the fear of it. Because 3D bioprinting isn't just about replacing what's broken, it's about reimagining what's possible. Imagine soldiers getting instant printed skin grafts on the battlefield. Cancer patients receiving new tissue grown from their healthy cells. Or astronauts printing organs in space to survive long-term missions on Mars. This isn't about cheating death, it's about engineering life. And that's both awe-inspiring and humbling. Look, I love reading about tech, clearly. But this one hits different. Because it's not a gadget or a chip, it's life itself. So yeah, the idea of printing a human organ sounds insane right now. 
But 20 years ago, so did self-driving cars or AI doctors or wearable computers. And now we've got all three. So the question isn't, can we print life? It's, should we print life? And if we do, how do we make sure it's used to heal humanity and not divide it? Let me know what you guys think. Would you trust the 3D printed heart inside your body? Or does that still feel too sci-fi? Drop your thoughts below, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.